I'm Jess Pryles from Hardcore Carnivore and today I'm going to show you one of my favourite ways to cook this beautiful HEB beef picanha. Picanha is just one of the names that this great cut is known by. It's also called a top sirloin cap and a culotte, but picanha is its Brazilian name. Actually, you might recognize it from Brazilian steakhouses. It's usually folded over into a C shape and placed on large skewers. But most of us aren't set up at home for a big Brazilian rotisserie system, so I'm going to show you a more practical way to enjoy this cut. Picanha steaks. You can actually find picanha steaks at your local HEB, but I'm going to show you how you can cut them from the whole roast. And if you can't find it in the case, just ask the meat department. They'll be happy to help you out. Let's take a closer look at that picanha. It's got a fat cap that runs one entire side of the muscle and the other side is lovely and lean. This one is beautifully trimmed as well. I'm gonna cut the steaks and they're gonna be about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half thick. And because of the shape of the picanha, it's like a triangle. You are gonna end up with one steak that's slightly smaller than the rest of them, little mini steak if you will, but it's great for kids or you can cook it up and eat it first as chef's privilege. It's time to season the steaks and I'm going to be using my Hardcore Carnivore Black which you can get at your local HEB and I'm going to season the steaks well on both sides making sure to coat them generously. Next I'm setting up a grill for two zone cooking dumping all of my lit coals to one side. This creates a hot and a cool zone and it's really important for cooking picanha. Now that the grill is set up I can start by layering on my steaks. I'm going to cook these by flipping them every minute or so over that really intense heat from the concentrated coals until I get the crust and color I want on the outside. I'm also going to flip the steaks onto their fat cap to render out but be careful because they will flare up but it's this flare up which is exactly why we have this two zone setup. Although the steaks have a great color on the outside they're not fully cooked on the inside so I can move them across and let them finish cooking in the gentle indirect heat until they read 135 degrees on a meat thermometer. Then I'm going to let them rest for a couple of minutes before I slice into them. You can see they got a beautiful crust and here's a reminder of how they look when you see them at a Brazilian restaurant. After the steaks have been rested we've given them a chance to redistribute all of that juice back into the meat and it's time to slice into them and see what the inside looks like. Look at the surface you can actually see how juicy that steak is. Picanha is one of my favorite cuts and I really hope you try it yourself. Happy grilling everyone! Don't forget to stick around and look at all the other great recipes right here on the HEB YouTube channel.